Good day, student. I'm Noshina, ma'am. I'm here to teach you Act Two, Scene Five. First, let us begin with the synopsis of the Act Two, Scene Five. This scene has a dramatic irony. Shylock trusts his deceitful daughter with his possession while she is making plans to betray him. Shylock is not not inclined to attend the dinner hosted by Bassanio, but ultimately decides to have the meal at the expense of a prodigal Christian. He fears that all is not well. and gives instruction to Jessica to lock and guard his house Launcelot reveals to Jessica Lorenzo plans for eloping at night and we are shown Jessica at home with his father's trust in her which further heightens her betrayal Let's begin children act 2 scene 5 Venice before Shylock's house enter Shylock and Launcelot Shylock Well, thou shalt see that I shall be thy judge. The difference of old Shylock and Bassanio. Here Shylock is conveying to Launcelot that well, you will see, and your eyes will judge also the difference between me and Bassanio. Me means Shylock. He is trying to prove that he was superior. He was far better master than Bassanio. That is why he is saying this to Launcelot. What Jessica? Thou shalt not gormandize, as thou hast done with me. Then at the same time he is calling out for Jessica. Jessica is somewhere inside. He is shouting and calling to Jessica, and at the same time he is sarcastic and he is making comments on Launcelot. He is saying, "Thou shall not gormandize. Gormandize means over it." So he is saying, "Thou you should not over it as thou has done with me as you were eating here." What Jessica? Again he is calling out for Jessica, and sleep and snore and rent apparel out. See the very next moment he is again talking to Launcelot, saying that you should not you over it. Neither you should sleep and snore and rent apparel out. That right? you shouldn't be lazy. You shouldn't be sleeping whole day and you shouldn't be uh, gaining weight or putting on fat. So that by gaining weight you you will worn out your clothes. Okay, rent apparel means to wear out your clothes quickly. Why Jessica? I say again he is shouting. And calling Jessica, Launcelot. Why Jessica? See here, hearing Shylock calling uh, for Jessica, Launcelot also tries to imitate his old master Shylock. He is saying, "Why Jessica?" Which means he is calling aloud, "Hello, Jessica." Shylock gets angry. Shylock says, "Who bids thee call? I do not bid thee call." Shylock is getting irritated and asking uh, Launcelot that who is asking you to call my daughter. I did not ask you to call my daughter. It is me who is calling, not you, Launcelot. Your worship was wont to tell me that I could do nothing without bidding. Then, in reply, Launcelot is saying that when I was working under you, you used to always complain. You know, you was wont to tell me means that you you used to complain to me that I could do nothing without bidding. That I never did anything without anybody's instruction. So this is the first time I am doing something. Without your instruction, so I'm calling your daughter's name. So he is adding a humor to this scene. So enter Jessica now. Uh, Jessica enters. Je- Jessica says, "Call you. What is your will?" Jessica enters and um, she says, "Did you call me, father? What do you want?" Sherlock says, "I am bid forth to supper, Jessica." Sherlock informs uh, his daughter Jessica that. he has been invited for supper there are my keys but wherefore should i go i am not bid for love they flatter me then he is supposed to give his key to his daughter jessica and he is giving the keys and then he is saying but wherefore wherefore means why but why should i go i am not i am reluctant to go i don't want to go why should i go because i know that i am not invited out of love but they are flattering me it is just for flattery that they have invited me but yet i will go in hate to feed upon the prodigal christian jessica my girl look to my house your shallock is saying that i know these people have invited me not out of love but uh, they want to flatter me then he says but then it's okay i will just go for the sake of hate to feed upon the prodigal Christian, he is saying he will go and feed upon the prodigal Christian. Prodigal Christian here he hints at the spendthrift Bassanio. Okay, so he is saying yet he will go 
ऑल दो ही डजन वॉन्ट बट ही विल गो एंड फीड अप ऑन द प्रोडिगल क्रिशन प्रोडिगल यूर मीन स्पेंड थ्रिफ्ट जैसिका माई गर्ल लुक टू माई हाउस सो ही इज गिविंग द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू जैसिका टू टेक केयर एंड टू टेक केयर ऑफ द हाउस लुक आफ्टर द हाउस आई एम राइट लो टू गो अगेन ही इज टेलिंग दैट ही शेयरिंग इज फीलिंग विद इज डॉटर दैट आई एम वेरी रिलाक्टेंट टू गो आई हेट टू गो देर इज सम इन अ ब्रोइंग टूवर्ड्स माई रेस्ट फॉर आई डिट ड्रीम ऑफ मनी बैग्स टू नाइट देन ही इज शेयरिंग इज फीलिंग दैट समथिंग ही डजेंट फील गुड He feels that there is some evil being plotted to destroy the peace of his mind. Okay, because he had dreamt of money bags last night. So he is uh, sharing about his dream. He had seen uh, a dream which was which is supposed to be an ill omen. And what he saw in his dream, he saw that uh, he saw money bags last night in his dream. So that is what he is sharing. Then Launcelot's dialogue. I beseech you, sir. Go, my young master. Doth expect your reproach. See, uh, Launcelot is a comical character. He's a kind of clown here. So, he has a habit. He has a typical habit of saying just the opposite what he wants to convey. Like here, he wants to say, "I beseech you, sir. Beseech you means I request you to come. Okay, sir, you come. My young master doth expect your reproach." my young master basanio my new master basanio is expecting your not reproach but approach but he has a nature to say utter the just the opposite word so instead of saying approach he is uh, uttering a very opposite word saying reproach okay so uh, shylock in reply says so do i his that means so also i expect him okay and i also expect him waiting for me okay so launcelot in reply says that and they have conspired together i will not say you shall see a mask but if you do then it was not for nothing that my nose fell a bleeding on black monday last at 6 o'clock in the morning falling out that year on ash wednesday was 4 years in the afternoon so here launcelot is replying hearing about the illumin or the superstitions about shylock he say uh, yes they have uh, basanio and all they have planned something together and maybe a mask they are planning out i do not say that you will see a mask i don't uh, i'm not sure exactly you will see the mask not but if you do see the mask then it was not without a reason so when there is a mask then it is for sure it was not without any reason when my nose bled last easter monday here actually launcelot is giving a reference about easter monday okay he is telling last easter monday when his nose bled at 6 o'clock in the morning so here he is trying to relate his uh, superstitions about his nose bleeding okay so he is saying launcelot plays on shylock's superstitious nature okay by by giving this reference okay he is trying to play on the uh, shylock's superstitious nature by referring to the easter monday easter monday specifically there is a date for this april 14 1360 okay so was called edward iii was with his army lying before paris and the day was so dark with mist and hail so bitterly cold so windy that many of his horses and men died they froze to death so it was supposed to be a black day okay so many people died it was supposed to be a black day and you know children you have been mentioned already what is the relevance uh, relevance of uh, easter easter is the festivity to celebrate resurrection of christ okay so here uh, he is uh, you know specifically mentioning this reference in uh, reference to the black monday monday after easter holidays are called monday you know here it is allusion to this fatal day he is giving an allusion to this fatal day okay and what about this ash wednesday he is saying when he bled black monday last 6 o'clock in the morning falling out the black the black monday falling out that year on ash wednesday was 4 years ago what is ash wednesday children ash wednesday is the first day of lent on this day people put ashes on their forehead 
to remind to remind them that man was made from dust and he shall return to dust lent is a period of prayer and penance in preparation for easter it is absurd of launcelot to talk of easter monday and ash wednesday falling at the same time actually it is absurd it can't fall on the same time because they have a gap of 40 days the real position of that is that there is a period of 40 days between easter and ash wednesday so he is speaking out this absurd thing maybe he is trying to uh, distract uh, shallock's attention and then it's a shallock's dialogue what are these they mask hear you me jessica lock up my doors and when you hear the drum and the wild squealing of the wry neck fif clamber not you up to the casement then so here shallock is giving a set of instruction you know children what is mask mask is actually the mask provided uh, it's a it's a festivity you know it's a costume public festivities in italy during the 16th century renasa they were generally elaborate dances held for members of the upper classes and were particularly popular in venice yeah it kind of celebration you know they used to put on their best outfit and they used to put mask and they used to tarnish their face paint their face and it was their celebration they used to dance they have been associated with the tradition of uh, venetian carnival okay so the mask provided the opportunity to wear fantastic and opulent costumes and the elizabethan mask provided the opportunity to show off their dancing and singing skills so this was mask and shallow was never appreciating such kind of uh, christian crowd he used to consider it cheap so he is uh, giving a set of instruction to jessica and he's telling lock up my doors you please better lock the doors because the mask people are going to cross this road and when you hear the drum uh, and the wild squealing of the wry neck fif that means if you are going to hear this um, wild wild means unpleasant and squealing means shrill now noise notes so if you are going to hear this unpleasant shrill note of uh, the wry neck fif means twisted pipe it's kind of a flute okay when you hear those flute notes then please shut the door and clamber not up to the casement then and then he is instructing jessica that you have to close the door and you are not going to clamber clamber means to climb the casement then casement means window don't climb the window to look out to these uh, cheap people uh, not thrust your head into the public street and please don't peep peep outside and uh, peep outside to look to these people in the public street to gaze on christian fools with varnish faces so he is telling please don't dare to peep outside in the public street to look at these christian fools they are fools uh, and they are celebrating this useless festival they are celebrating and they are uh, you know disguising themselves so better don't look at their varnished face varnished face means painted face okay masked face so he is saying but stop my houses ears but if possible try to close shut all the windows and doors so that no voice no voice penetrates inside the house I mean, my casement. Let not the sound of shallow floppery enter. Then he is saying, I don't want any shallow floppery enters. Means superficial, uh, stupidity. You know, any uh, silly sounds and noises. I don't want. It should enter my sober house. My sober house. By Jacob's staff. I swear, I have no mind of feasting forth tonight. Then again, he is telling that that uh, he is swearing by name of Jacob's staff, and he is saying that. I have no mind of feasting for tonight. I don't feel like going for the for this feast tonight. But I will go. But I have to go. Go you before me, sir. I will say I will come. Then he is uh, ordering Launcelot that you go before me and you inform your master that uh, I'll be coming. Okay. So sir uh, was a term used for to address a servant. So here he is asking Launcelot to go and inform his master that I'll be coming. Okay. So children, overall Shylock's dialogue is like uh, he is not happy with this mask, and he is also warning uh, Jessica to lock up doors and windows, and and he is asking when she hears the sound of drums and the shrill notes of the twisted pipe, uh, not to climb to see the window, nor stretch uh, her neck out to gaze over the public street at Christian fools with painted masks, and on the other hand, he is asking her to close the openings of the house. and he means the window he means he means he instructs that uh, let her close the windows and he he doesn't want the sound of vulgar show enter his sober house 
again he's swearing uh, by the staff of uh, prophet jacob and he's saying that he swears that he doesn't want a bit to go to the feast that night and however uh, he 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 has already decided to go and uh, then he is um, instructing launcelot go and inform your new master that i'll be arriving very soon launcelot i will go before sir mistress look you out at window for all this now very cleverly you know he is saying he is uh, replying back to his old master shallow he is saying okay sir i am going and i'll inform and by the meantime he goes close to uh, this jessica and he says mistress look out at window you go and peep into uh, through the window for all this for all this means for the mask because somebody is there waiting for you he is giving a hint actually he had given he had come to give this message to jessica only there will come a christian by will be worth a jewel side then he is informing jessica that it's worth watching through the window because there will be a christian boy there, there will be a christian boy who will will be passing by that street and who will be worth watching by a jewish side that means jessica who he may be he may be lorenzo he is hinting about lorenzo that lorenzo is going to pass through that way and he is asking jessica to look to him okay then shallock says what say that fool of hagar's offering ha huh? so here he is calling uh, launcelot as a hagar hagar is you know hagar is a slave woman's son see he is addressing him as a somebody very subordinate he is calling him as a hagar hagar's offspring okay slave woman's son he is suspicious that something he has whispered into the ears of jessica so he is asking jessica and in reply jessica is saying his words were favel mistress nothing else jessica very cleverly manipulated his father and he said that Uh, no no uh, father he just said me farewell goodbye that's all nothing else shallow the pat is kind enough but a huge feeder snail slow in profit and he sleeps by day shallow is uh, actually here he's trying to say that he's uh, talking about launcelot he's saying that uh, the patch patch is the fool fool why uh, fool are considered as patch patch means it's it's a reference to their dresses you know they used to put patchy dresses colorful dresses so here he's calling this long start as a fool the fool is kind enough but uh, is a voracious eater of food he eats too much okay here he says that he eats too much he is as so as slow as snail in at any enterprise any work you give he is as slow as a snail and he also tells about him that he sleeps by day more than a wild cat more than the wild cats drones hide not with me therefore i part with them here he is telling that he sleeps by day more than a wild cat and then he says idlers yeah here by drone he means idlers lazy people okay he's saying lazy people cannot live with me that means he's hinting at launch lord launch is so lazy that i can't adjust with him he cannot he is a person with whom i can't stay so uh, drones hive not with me i cannot stay with drones like launch lord therefore i part with him therefore i asked him to leave my job and part with him to one that i would have him help to waste his borrowed purse and so i parted with him and he goes as per my wish to a man whom he will help to squander the money the latter has borrowed he is telling i have parted this with this man with launcelot and i have sent him to the man with whom along with whom he will help his master to spend the money which he will borrow from me that means basani is going to borrow 3000 ducats from shylock okay and along with basani launcelot will also help basani to squander with the money to spend the money together okay both launcelot and basani will spend his borrowed money whose borrowed money basani's borrowed money okay basani is borrowing from shylock well jessica go in perhaps i will return immediately then he is saying okay well jessica you get inside and take care of the house as i told as i had instructed just lock the doors and everything and stay safe do as i bid you shut doors after you so as i told you as i warned you you go inside and shut the door after you then he is saying fast bind fast find okay then uh, he is also saying that perhaps i will come back soon he is saying ki yeah i'll try to come back as soon as possible do as i told and shut the door then then he is saying fast bind fast find that means he is telling 
uh, anything that is locked is always safe okay when you lock something when you bind something then easily you will find that thing okay so by this he means that anything that is locked is always safe is a proverb that is never outdated for a careful man so it is a proverb which is never stale or outdated in thrifty mind in thrifty mind means in a person with a profitable mind or careful mind it is never outdated it is always in fashion jessica farewell and if my fortune be not crossed i have a father you have a daughter lost that means goodbye father farewell unless i have had luck now i have lost my father that means she is saying that if my if i don't face any bad luck now i'll be successful in eloping with my beloved okay lorenzo and he she says that in that case if i will elope with him i will lose my father and you will lose your daughter okay saying this she goes out okay so here we come to the end of scene 5 hope you have understood thank you